all right what's up you guys welcome back to my channel this is Aaliyah. what you'll need for this tutorial is some yarn some scissors 2.25 millimeter hook and a five millimeter hook and some stitches you're gonna need is single crochet double crochet and half double crochet or the stitches that we're gonna be using so this is the top we're gonna be making today it's a little two top thing and I really like the way it came out. I actually made mine a little bit too big for me, but it turned out just fine. And this is the yarn I'm using. I got it from Walmart. Alright, so you grab your 2.25 millimeter hook. I actually was going to use a 2.75 millimeter hook, but I can't find it. I don't know what happened to it. So I'm using my 2.25 millimeter hook. And I'm going to chain up of 11 so you're going to do a chain of 11 and then we're going to be half double crocheting in that back loop and you're going to skip the first chain so half double crochet in the second chain from your hook and you're going to have to crochet all the way across for a total of 10 half double crochets it's just like that I love half double crochets, it's my favorite stitch. Alright, so you're gonna chain one, turn your work, and then you're gonna half double crochet into the back loops only. So for the entire first part of this project, you're gonna do rows of 10 half double crochets in the back loops only. And you're just gonna keep going until it fits around your body, around your torso. Um, Make sure you stretch it just the smallest bit. You don't want it to be too loose. So make sure it fits around your body. Just take it and put it around your body until it stretches a little bit and then until it meets. So this is how long I made mine. I made mine a teensy bit too big, um, but it's okay. It still fits me really good. And now I'm just going to attach and I went ahead and attached with um i think i just attached in the back loops only with a single crochet so like y'all know every video i say this i'm not the best at attaching stuff but uh, i'm attaching with a single crochet and you don't really have to worry about that um the single crochet because we're going to turn it inside out so you're not really going to see that line or that seam i guess you should call it you won't see it because I'm going to turn it inside out. And by attaching in the back loops only, that um, helps to hide the seam too. It's just a little trick. So it won't look so big, like a big seam right there. See? I'll attach. And you see, you can't, even if I did leave it out, you can't really see it. And then you turn it inside out, it's completely gone. You don't even know where I attached it at. Okay. And that is the first part. So moving on, you're going to chain one. And now we're going to be working around um, the top of that little tube we just made. And we're going to half double crochet all the way around for the first step. And it, you really, it's not any perfect way to put it on the side. You kind of just have to shove your hook anywhere and just make it work. But I'm at the end here and I'm attaching with a slip stitch. And you're just going to keep on doing rows of um, half double crochets until you make it as long, of, as long of a tube top as you want. This is so customizable. Um, this whole project is really customizable. It make it fit to your body or whoever's body you want really perfectly. All right. So I think I did mine for about 15 rows, um, just so you guys know. And we're coming up on the end, and I'm just attaching with a slip stitch. And there we go. You made a tube top. That is the looks so easy, like the easiest thing ever. And we just only used half double crochet so far, so easy. Okay. And now we're just gonna go around with um, single crochets for the border. I just think finishing off with single crochets, I just think it looks nice. 
you don't have to do it but i just like to finish it off with single crochets because i don't know i'm bougie or something like that but let me stop and um let me show you how i just tuck in i'm just tucking in my loose end because you know i can't sew it in or i can't go over it so this is just i'm just showing you how i hide it okay there we go all right so now we're gonna do a drawstring and I'll use our five millimeter hook so i usually do two chains but i kind of wanted it to look a little bit more delicate so i just decided to do um i usually do two double strand chains but i'm just gonna do a single strand chain and chain up a chain that is long enough to fit around your body and like make a tie in the front so you can do that like right above your breasts or below make sure it's long enough to go all the way around your body and you have enough um, chain left to tie and so now i'm just showing you how i attach my drawstring which i've done in other tutorials you just i'm just going in and out of um that half double crow my last half double crochet row you could do it in and out in between your um single crochet row but i just did it the half double crochet row and you just pull the chain weave it in and out in and out see like pull it through and pull it back make sure it doesn't go over the top you want it to just go in and out snake it in and out just like that it's so easy and that's it y'all we are finished with this tutorial and you can wear it either way you can wear it so that the drawstrings at the bottom or that the drawstrings at the top it's up to you it really doesn't matter i think it looks cute either way and that's it we are all done thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions um comment down below um oh i just had a space out like this video subscribe uh follow me on instagram check out my online shop all right bye